It was a Monday like any other. Except for the kidnapping. But that hasn't happened yet. So shh. I work that day as I do every other day. Fully dressed and incredibly sober in the living room of a relative's house where I've been spending a short tenure between travels. As I rose, the rigid physique of a lawn chair, I felt the associated longing to go perch myself on the grass outside, which I managed to shake away. Had I known of the days to come, however, I would have considered it. As usual, I had a pounding headache, the thought you could hear ringing in your ears audibly like a hammer. Or maybe the neighbours were just having some work done. But I digress, I took the correct dosage of what was definitely paracetamol and sat myself down to plan my next journey. Years ago, I worked as a private detective, a damn good one at that, running about to solve everyone's problems. I gave that life up a long time ago to pursue my adventure instead. But little did I know, and I did indeed know very, very little. The past rarely stays in the past for long. While debating a trip to the Soviet Union, my somewhat anachronistic phone began to ring. Him. I hadn't spoken to him in years, whatever could he want. It was the chief of police of a local station, a commanding, albeit withering man, who used to pass on excess cases to me. While his presence was strong, his mind was certainly not. He was never the shedder to sharpen the tool tool. Wait, what? He was the sort to always put the passengers before the vehicle. Physically, not morally. He was dependable and sturdy as a brick wall, about as thick as cement, and had a voice like a buzzsaw. Or maybe the neighbours were just having some work done. Regardless, I agreed to talk in person, and sure enough, he arrived shortly after. But why? Like my failed business producing the lowest increment of American currency, it made no sense. My head was spinning, as though it had been grasped onto a drill. Or maybe the neighbours were just having some work done. Yet, here he was. What was it you wanted, Chief? Missing person. Man by the name of Wally. Vanished a week ago. I told you before, Chief. I don't do that sort of job anymore. And if I did, why should I do it for you? Just when I think I'm out of the business for good, he finds a way to pull me back in. Like a dog. On a really, really long lead. I'll admit, my interest was piqued. But I'd retired a long, long time ago and I wasn't planning on returning to detectiving any time soon. Nobody else is willing to give it a shot, except Simon, but he's not allowed in town alone. And the family is growing restless. They have leads, but no one to follow them. And what's in for me? Detective, please. Come now, be realistic. I need to make a living somehow, and I can't keep doing old friends' favours all the time. Detective, there is a life at stake here. Then I ask you again, what's in for me? We'll assign Simon to help you out. And? And a blanket rate of 3k for the case. One more thing. What's this Simon like? What's he good for? Simon Desmond Kick. He can ask stupid questions. I'll take the case. I thought I would never go back to that old life. But, like the cement covering the corpses under my patio, I was quickly set. Swiftly, I met with Simon, and we went over the details the family provided. Wally went walking about a week ago just down the road, at 10.42am, and never came back. We decided to begin our search there. While the amateur search party found no trace of him, my faith in us was slightly higher on account of us actually knowing what we were doing. So, that morning, we paid his last known location a visit. Is this the place? I believe so. What do we do first? Uh, look around. See if we can find anything out of the ordinary. What's this? Ah, ah, a clue. I don't know how he did it, but like that other corpse and the wood chipper, he walked right into it all by himself. A clue. A sketch of the local area in immense, hyper-realistic detail with a note clipped to it. Well, 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 detective. Congratulations. You found my first clue. I'm surprised. 
Unfortunately, I doubt you'll ever figure it out and find my second clue. Good luck. You need it. Lots of love, Mr. Kidnapper. Kiss, kiss, kiss. He was taunting me. Well, that did it. I may have only been half interested in the case before, but now I was determined to solve it. Not out of a desire to save what's his face, but out of pure spite. We fled back to my lodgings and began to analyse our evidence. What could it mean, Detective? Let's think about this rationally. To map the local area. I checked, and the vantage point's not a clue. You can't reach it or anything, so that's nothing. What could we be missing? Well, what's the point of a map? A great stupid question. Maps, well, to give directions? To show a location? To find buried treasure? Or a secret? A secret? Hmm. I racked my brain for the answer, and, like the court summons for that murder trial, eventually it came to me. Aha! What's that there? Well, I'll be damned. Hidden in the picture, a figure stood among the buildings. It matched with the family's description of Wally perfectly. Tall, brown hair, pasty skin, leather bright red and white clothes. It was him! I think we found our Wally, Simon. Now, where's that to? The Hand Cafe, situated in the outskirts of town just past the Bakers. It wasn't much, but it was a lead. I hadn't the foggiest as to how this quaint cafe linked to the kidnapping, but who was I to question a clearly accomplished kidnapper? Simon and I dragged ourselves out at noon and investigated the scene. Here we are. Question is, do we want to drink before or after the investigation? Good question. I say before. Good choice. Let's go. I'll take. It wasn't long before we found our next clue. Another similar sketch with another note. Like an incomplete alphabet, the Y continued to evade me. Hello again, detective. My, my, you have impressed me so. However, my next puzzle will not be so simple to solve. This point is as far as you will get. Goodbye, detective. Lots of love, Mr. Kidnapper. Kiss. Kiss, kiss. This sketch was of a different portion of town, adjacent to the last. We knew his game now and began to search for the hidden Wally. Aha! I found him! No, no, no! Yes! God, I beat you! No, no, I hate you! I hate you! I did it! No. Me! I, I did it! Ha! Now, where's that too? Ford Gardens. It's a garden shop sort of place. Small, but rather well looked after. Well, we go there. And look, we did. We scoured the area like the police did before that murder case. But, like the cops, we came up blank. No matter where we looked, there was no sign of any other clues. We sat ourselves down and contemplated our investigations. Detective? Yes? What do we do now? Another stupid question. That's a serious question, and that's a problem. I came on to this job to ask stupid questions. This is not my forte. I'm out. Sidekick? You come back here! Oh, <laughs> I get it now. Oh, no, that's, that's better. Well, fine. I can ask my own stupid questions. I can ask my own stupid questions. Aha! What is it, Luna? Is that... Ah, a lead. Alone, my mind began to race. It ran wildly like an unattended jackhammer. That reminds me, I must renew my license. The absence of a clue must mean something. The last one mentioned a puzzle. But there's nothing new, so I must have everything I need. But what? Hmm. Wait. Point. Oh. Suddenly, I was struck with the answer. The two sketches lined up perfectly. And both of the wallies were pointing in two different directions. I found the point where the angles converged, and there, yes, two tiny camouflage people. Wally, yes, but also some other uncertain figure. Curious, I looked closer. But where is that? Aha, 
Of course. My final destination. The Brown Room, in the centre of town. A storage shed, open to the public. I slowly stumbled down to the site, like a builder, with shoes full of cement, and a stomach full of biscuits and tea. If the biscuits were made of rocks, and the tea was made of... also... rocks. Halt! Who goes there? I could ask the same of you, but I already know who you are, detective. Question is, do you? Of course I know who I am. I'm... I'm... It doesn't matter. Where is he? Whoever could, you mean. Where's Wally? You've gotten ahead of yourself here, my dear friend. The real question is, who's Wally? What do you mean? Check your diagram, detective. See there? Two people in the brown room. Yeah. One's you, and the other's Wally. You're here, so where's he? All is as it should be. What do you mean? Every piece is in its place. All as it should be. But where is he? I don't see him here. Don't you? What? No! Yes, you know it's to be true. I'm Wally? No, it can't be. It is! No! Now, put on your glasses. Put them on! You can't see the forest for the trees, can you? I can't see anything. These aren't my prescription. Shut up, but now... Now you can see. Who does that make you? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Martin. Martin Hanford. Hanford, of course. The architect. The creator. What more do you want from me, damn you? Everything and nothing. I want my work back. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I can't help you there. I can't remember myself. Surely you can. Afraid not, my friend. That one's long gone. I have no idea what I did with that. What? No, 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 no. You can't have. It's all been forgotten now. That was smart of me, wasn't it? A bit of planning, foresight, and ingenuity. A right smart move, that was. Couldn't tell if I wanted to. Which I don't. But there's one thing you haven't considered. What's that, then? That there's nothing like adrenaline to spark a memory. Then remember this, Martin. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Then how about I raise the stakes? Do you want me to tell me where it is for some here will get it? I told you, Martin, I haven't a clue where it is. Why the not? After I found it on that case all that time ago, I used it for leisure. For travel. The ancient Greeks, the Roman Empire, the Aztecs, the Hang Gardens of Babylon, the Library of Alexandria. I saw them all. But I knew I couldn't use it forever, so I hit it just before our last encounter. Before the amnesia set in. Since then, I've explored our modern world. You can't have lost it. Why not? That was the result of decades of research. The finest minds on Earth congregating to create a marvel of science fiction that was no longer mere fiction. I entrusted it to you for safekeeping. I expected it back. What a waste of talent. Can I go now? No, no shut, shut up. up. Well, if you can't help me, you are very little use. So this will be farewell, Wally. I can find it without you. But you haven't accounted for one thing, Martin. And what's that? You're already dead. What? Bang! <laughs> You're dead! Looks like you've been shot.